What a beautiful morning. We were so blessed with the weather that we had on this trip. We had a lot of sunny days and man, I'm grateful for it. So the original convoy of three ended up turning into a convoy of five. The plan was to make our way up to Fork Lake. Uh, what a beautiful lake, but you know, we had to uh, enjoy this uh, beautiful campsite that we had, have some breakfast and then kind of pack up. We didn't want to leave. It was, it was a beautiful spot. Eventually we did hit the road and true to fashion we had to take a lot of back roads and I tell you back roads are awesome. I absolutely love what you normally don't see on an everyday trip. You see it on the back roads. It's pretty cool. Back roads all the way. Gotta love it baby. Jeremy Lemoyne ended up joining us. Uh, brought up a buddy who just bought himself a brand new 4Runner as well and uh, yeah Heading up, gonna pick our next camp spot. And what a lineup, eh? Jeremy's got a really sweet setup. I, I like his setup. Um, and uh, yeah, Dave's just about to come over the hill here. Yeah, this is Jeremy's uh, forerunner right here. Really nice. Uh, off-grid tra uh, off trailer, nicely set up, and road trip with a brand new vehicle. How many kilometers? 288. 288 kilometers on a road trip. supply had to buy a, um, a portable hard drive because I'm taking way too much footage so that's uh, gonna help because I don't want to get rid of any footage man I got some pretty sweet footage but heading up north now and uh, as soon as we kind of figure out our campsite we'll be kind of marking campsites from there forward um, and uh, a little bit more regimented now that we kind of know what to kind of budget for time, doing back roads totally messes up your time. So what you think you're going to do is totally different what you actually do. So, you know, we're learning. This is our, this is our first rodeo. So we're going to have fun and we're going to learn from this experience. Well, from Statler, we're going to have to make our way all the way up to Fork Lake on back roads. And uh, it was actually really unique seeing a lot of the country via back road. Absolutely 
um, awesome man there's a ton of farms out there with beauty beyond what you would ever think and uh, it was definitely a privilege to experience all these back roads and all the different treasures that were hidden within them managed to get up close and personal with Alberta's wild horses. Eventually, we make our way to Fork Lake. There are a lot of lakes up there that we could have chose from, but we're really happy we chose Fork Lake. Man, were we in for a super treat. The sunset was gonna be, without a doubt, one of the, the most beautiful sunsets I have ever seen in my life. Um, yeah, we were in for a real treat. Once we figured out where we were going to camp, we kind of figured out our parking spots and started to unpack. It was going to be an awesome campsite with a beautiful view of the lake. Alright, so tomorrow we're going to start heading up north again. And uh, there's a rumor that there's sand roads. So that might be, depending on what time we get in, what we're doing for tomorrow. So that might be pretty fun. Um, man, couldn't ask for a better location than this. It's going to be a great sleep. After being on the road for a few days, man, the lake was looking pretty good and Dave had to go try it out. It's a good thing we brought some off as well. A couple mosquitoes out. As the night continued on, the sun started to set and the sky looked like it was starting to light on fire. It was vibrant. It was, man, it was, was like nothing I had ever seen before. It, it literally looked like the sky was on fire. It was absolutely amazing.
be sure to tune into the next episode where we get a little bit dirty on the sand roads. It's going to be a lot of fun.